<clears throat> Life, which burned and bled in the triumph of my dream dim days, where I stood steaming brightly in the sleep spun, sight stunned glimmer of that eagle crested dream, thrust through the drafty tongue tied paws of those whose tender envelope of word washed flesh flinging that nameless, bitter, tear-stripped cry to the ice-green, wind-whipped, strawberry passion of my fractured spleens, old, lymph-brained, liquid lust. just recited to you was composed in a hospital in Burma as I lay close to death having been savagely beaten by a, a horde of outraged Belgian tourists Aww. you will find this poem in my collected verse entitled forests of flesh it has not yet been published in this country but you can get a privately Edited edition. Uh, signed personally by the author, <laughs> who is me. Three dollars. Either in cash or money order to Mac Fister, Box 2723, Lemington. New Jersey, McFisto, Box 2723, Lemington, New Jersey. I would also like to express my thanks to the Rolling Stone, uh, the Rolling, uh, Rolling Fields Center High School Student Committee advisory board who had the courage and may I say the wisdom to invite me here as you know my work has been banned and my books have been burned in 27 major countries and 14 newly emergent nations why are they afraid of me one asks oneself why because I celebrate the virtue, the beauty, the wonder, the ultimate, ineffable desire of the ecstasy of the human spirit. Oh, Dulcis, Imperatrix, whatever that may mean. My poems are as innocent as children, young, innocent, because only children will understand the freedom and the virtue of giving oneself without restraint, uninhibitedly unashamed. I wonder how many of us here have this gift for sacrifice. I sense there may be some, perhaps 10 or 20, three or four, perhaps only one. 